all right guys welcome back to my live i'm gonna try to be doing these a lot more consistently for the sake of the youtube algorithm <laughs> and fun fact about me um i'm really into politics and i like to incorporate that into my designs so for this live i'm going to be doing a politically charged design <laughs> honestly this these past few like months i've been kind of like off of politics because uh just with the whole situation in israel it's be really been like draining to talk about it every day although i know it's probably super extra draining to be in that type of situation um so we can start off with this article by the hill and basically they're saying that well everybody in the political scheme is basically saying that biden is gonna lose which is so freaking annoying if i do say so myself so oh let me show you guys the previous politically charged logo that i made it's honestly like it's like i made this obviously you can see it on my thumbnail and i have the trump head that i got from sketchfab.com it's really detailed as you can see uh so we're gonna just be making something like this i guess but i don't really know what slogan i want to make um for this time around uh maybe like i've been like pitching to the imaginary biden campaign that i'm in direct contact with <clears throat> to use this as their freaking slogan like i feel like it would be so good like maybe i'm bugging so you're a trump supporter no i'm not a trump supporter <laughs> it says not trump right here and i'm just saying that i'll use it as a, a biden's like a slogan for biden's campaign um yeah i don't really mess with trump and i don't really like biden either like he's pretty uh typical of an establishment corporate democrat and i don't like those i don't like any corporate politician because they do everything for the money and they don't care about real issues and then they they want to play in your face like i hate that and trump is the same way he's just like i don't know he's just a bit crazier i guess like i don't really like that biden is like so um milk toast you know what i mean like he's like every other white cis christian president that we've ever had and this is definitely not what we need right now but i just made this sleepy joe slogan because i thought it was funny that um trump was calling biden that and also 
uh, I thought that like people, I feel like people should use their, what people are making fun of them for like in their favor. Like if I was Biden, I would be slapping Sleepy Joe stickers everywhere and making it like taking the power back from Trump. But I don't know that man's like 80, 80 or some shit. Like, I don't think he, he thinks in that way. How old is this guy? Oh, he's 81. His middle name's Robinette. <laughs> like, I've never heard anybody with that name. Anyways. um, I don't know. What should I type? What should I type? Like. Should I do another Sleepy Joe post? Or should I do that? Um, Just so you guys know, Joe Biden is not the only one that's running. Cornell West is also running, which I actually really like him. But his campaign was um, really kind of fell flat. And I think the lady from the Green Party is running. I forgot what her name is. I think her name is Jane or some shit. Not 2004, 2024. Who's running? Oh, oh, Jill Stein. Yeah, Jill Stein's running. Um, This lady. And um, who else is running? I think Jenk Uger from the Young Turks is also running, although he's not a natural born citizen. He's a naturalized citizen. So technically under the Constitution, he can't run. So I don't really know what he's doing. Um, oh yeah, and um, I don't know if Dean Phillips is still running. He's like a Jewish uh, congressman. He's basically he I I've, I've watched interviews about him and he's really good. I think he's kind of like Biden, but younger. I don't relatively good, I guess, compared to the options. I don't really agree with him on everything. The only downfall though is that he's a Zionist, so it's like listen dude if you don't care about palestinians like i don't know what to tell you like <laughs> go somewhere with that that stuff anyways yeah back to but he's kind of good looking like i'm not gonna lie i feel like i miss having a. Uh, young presidents you know what i mean like obama was like pretty young compared to everybody else all right so what should we do we should just do like a biden 2024 oh wait no he's gonna be in for 2025 right i don't know i'm gonna do 2025 it's crazy how it's really like halfway through the year Um, I think I'm going to go for the Y2K aesthetic like I always do. And maybe I'm going to add some like assets from sketchfab.com. But I'll do that later once I get onto Blender. Um, oh yeah, let me go look up some new fonts. I get all my fonts from dafont.com and let's look at some groovy ones Maybe I should just do like, uh, there's, this is my favorite, like 
the only thing is they don't have like uh, numbers this is my favorite script font it's called Aston script and I'm believe I got it from dofont.com but I'm not gonna do that one because they don't have numbers I feel like somebody else is running, but I forgot. Oh, yeah, that lady, um, Marianne Williamson. This lady. Although I liked her in the beginning, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like she just sounds super entitled. You know what I mean? I mean, she did have an active uh, legislative plan for black Americans, which is like something you can't say about <laughs> most candidates. But she went on the Amanda Seal show and she was obviously Amanda Seal is like hard hitting journalism right there. So she was asking her the questions that needed to be asked. And she was like, how are you going to like, all of this sounds like you're in a fantasy world. Like, how are you actually going to make these policies go through the house and the senate and then to you so you can sign them over and she basically just said like she's gonna just use her bully pulpit and she's gonna rally the people and i don't think it's clicking with her that we live in a corrupt duopoly and that that's not gonna work like if it did work every other president probably would have done it I this is also one of my favorite call fonts. It's called Super Fresh. I just love like you know this effect. I like this one too. You know I might go with this one. This is called BD Napori 2005. All right, so most Y2K uh, things, they have this like oval thing. So I just grabbed the ellipse tool and I'm just going to make this shape that I'm looking for. And I'm going to go to the pathfinder and subtract the middle shape. Ooh, I like the black and red. But like, I really don't use red that much in my designs because red is not my favorite color. But I'm also going to adjust the aspect ratio for the artboard. Uh, I just had a brain freeze. It's 1080 by 1920 for YouTube. There we go. All right. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot usually campaign logos will be like Biden Harris because he's running with her. Although I have not heard much from this lady since she's been in office let's look up kamala harris laughing which is like the thing that i love the most about her she's always laughing but can we get a compilation of her laughing or what this place is so weird let's it's a twilight zone. do that Can you guys even hear this? Let's see. Can y'all hear this? Can somebody let me know? I don't know, but there's a meme about her always laughing. I actually made a post about this. Um, 
Oh yeah, and another meme is that she always gets Oh yeah, I can't hear it. Damn, hold on. Let's go behind the scenes. Uh all right, let's see if that worked. Can y'all hear it now? Whatever. But um, yeah, I made a post about her on my Instagram. If you don't know, I have two Instagrams. I have the one directly linked under my YouTube. And then um, this main one that I've been had. And I made a post about her. Oh, I'm trying to find the post. Give me a sec. Oh, I, I made one about Ron DeSantis too. Like, I literally hate this guy. He sucks so hard. Thank God he doesn't have to wear his high heels anymore. But yeah, they're like, every time you see her, she's just laughing. But yeah, she's just like a corporate Democrat, just like every other, uh, just like every other Republican, I mean, the Republican and Democrat. Uh, might do that. Or I'm going to just stick with Biden. At this point, vice presidents have been irrelevant. Like when I was Barack Obama became president when I was like in fifth grade. So I was like, I don't know. How old, how old are you in fifth grade like 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and add a rectangle in between this I just feel like that's super presidential I don't know why but and I'm gonna make it blue these colors are all just so you can see it better I'm gonna change everything on blender but yeah, so uh, Barack Obama became president when I was 10, right? So the whole time I was like, you know, young and I'm like, I didn't really realize who Joe Biden was really. Like, I really didn't know much about him until he started to run for president. And I was just like, wow, this guy was there the whole time. Like, and that's just shows you how irrelevant vice presidents actually are like, so I feel like she, uh, um, Kamala Harris, she gets a lot of slack, especially, or is that the right word? She gets a lot of shit from the, from the right, especially the right, but from the left too, because they're like, where is she? Where is she? Like, uh, she's doing her job like everybody else. Like, I don't see... I don't think she's supposed to be the main character here. Like she's only she works at the pleasure of the president. So she can only do basically what what he tells her to do. I don't know who who would ever want that job. I feel like once you're vice president, what what can you really do after that? You know what I mean? Like it's not like you can go back to the Senate like that would be a downgrade. Oh, yeah, uh, I made these little stars by going to the lips tool and then going to the FX, Distort, Transform, Pucker, and Blow. Like, I literally love these things. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna add that somewhere around here, right? I'll just add these to the file and then I'll place them wherever I wanna place them. Um, later on Blender. Well, let's just try some other ones just in case. You know what, no, I'm just go with this one. All right, so you gotta make sure that you convert your 
text into outline on illustrator or else you won't be able to edit it on blender so just go ahead and do that and then with the uh, twinkles you gotta uh, expand the appearance because then they'll just come out wonky on blender as well So yeah, my like general consensus of this election is that it's gonna suck and I can't believe that they're making us make this choice again. Like, I was really hoping somebody else would come through. You know what I mean? But that's not going to happen. You know, I wish Bernie Sanders was still energized to run. But I don't know what's wrong with him. Like, he is like a Biden ass kisser now. I don't know why. Maybe because they're friends in real life or something. I forgot these people have lives outside of being political figures. But his whole take with like Israel and Gaza was crazy too, like that shit was crazy like i did not see that coming you know what i mean like he's a super progressive uh candidate i never saw that coming but i mean he's jewish so i could see why that would be his position but i'm still you know surprised that it is not gonna lie um, what else should we add to this guys? Should we just keep it simple? You know, I'm gonna add some more assets on Sketchfab on Blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this so we can go on Blender. Just make sure you export it as a SVG. And make sure you add a random stupid name to your file that you will never know what it is until you open it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna wait till Blender opens up. Oh, you know what? This is probably why. You... <sighs> Whatever. I don't know. Okay, so before that, let me just look up what Bernie Sanders is doing right now. Whoa, why is this the first picture on Google? <laughs> what? This one too, he looks, he looks kind of young here, but I never actually seen his teeth, you know what I mean? Hey, Shell, or is it Shelly? Um, have I ever used? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Have I ever used Inkscape? No, but I heard that is a free. That is a good free alternative for Adobe Illustrator. Is that like a cloud app, or is it a like downloadable app? But yeah, I used to tell people to use Ink. Inkscape if they were if they didn't want to pay for Adobe Illustrator but I've never actually used it before I actually um, have my student discount for Adobe Illustrator so it's like $21 a month and you know it's only a year but if you fun fact if you just hit up the Adobe customer service and you complain about the price not being a student discount anymore they'll just give you they'll just give you the student discount again like you you could do literally do it every single year and they'll literally just give you the discount and also last time i did it they actually gave me three months for free so just complain and they'll just give you free stuff like i never thought being a karen was ever useful until i encountered that you know what i mean i encounter i i tapped into my karenicity real quick It's Shelley. Shelley sounds cooler though. Shelley sounds cool. Is that like your birth name? 
not to be all up in your business but fun fact about me I'm really into um names like I have a whole baby name list on my phone that I've literally had for years at least like six years and I add names to them like every time I see a name that I like mind you I don't even know if I want to have kids you know what I mean um so yeah I just I'm just into names because my name is actually like kind of weird like my real name so it just traumatized me into looking into names <laughs> I need to do that. I need my lick back. Adobe scammed me for two years. Oh my God. Do it. I just got off my th free three month uh, thing and I'm about to go complain again so I could get it for free again for three months. I'm going to see if that works. But I'm going to um, upload the file that I just made on Adobe by importing it as SVG. And then I RX90 to rotate its access and S on your keyboard to scale it up. And then I'm gonna um, set the origin to geometry. No, a Spanish nickname my grandma gave me because my skin light and bright compared to them, LMFAO. What country are you from? I'm Dominican, fun fact, I'm Dominican. Okay, so we're just going to extrude these objects by going to the, da the data object properties. The object data. I would say data object. It's object data properties panel. And within the geometry, you're going to press extrude. Um, oh, and before I even do that, I'm going to join the objects that I think are going to have the same color material. So I think it's going to be 2025. It's going to have the same thing. And then the Biden is going to have the same color. Although I might want to make the eye a different color, but I'll just figure that out later. I'll face the consequences while I'm there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not about to. I feel like design. See, this one came out all messed up. I feel like some people just take design way too seriously. Like, and I used to be one of those people. But now I just like to make funny memes and I like to piss people off. All right, this one is messed up. I'm just going to delete it. I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to add an extrusion to all of these objects. Boy, zero, zero, 002. And did you guys, did any of you guys go to design school? Or are we p all part of the non-design school uh, gang in this house? 0 0.002, I think that's too flat. So I'm going to do like four. And that's too thick. <laughs> uh, for real. Oh, you're Ecuadorian? Uh, what do I know about Ecuador? What do I know about Ecuador? You're my school. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Welcome to This is a Sign Academy. Uh, do you guys think I should make a Patreon? Do it, Should I be one of those annoying people that make a Patreon and lock the uh, damn the damn tutorials behind a paywall I'm not gonna do that to y'all I'm gonna make a patreon but I'm not gonna lock the tutorials you know what I mean just your one yeah I didn't go to design school I learned everything I know on YouTube so welcome to YouTube University adjacent I'm glad you guys are here It took me literally like it literally took me like a whole month to uh to get to get through my first ever 3D design tutorial. 
by internet girl i'm sure y'all know who that is she's the og but after that i was like good uh, but that one that first one especially because i had this old dusty crusty hp pavilion like that one was really dusty crusty like every time i try to render anything it was like my laptop was gonna explode I took some courses, but couldn't stand the BS filler classes. Oh, my God. On oh God. Yeah, trust me. I'm in school right now to get my degree in IT. And there's, I literally hate the filler courses. Like, I've been trying to get my bachelor's for, like, it's embarrass embarrassingly so fucking long. Like, guys, I graduated college in 2016. Why am I still trying to get my bachelor's? <laughs> it's taken me forever, but it's like whenever I transfer to a new school or I change my major like a million times, like that shit just be holding you back for real. They don't want you to be great. Like they want you to be up in that school paying for to take English classes every damn year. Like. How many hours a day or designs a week did you make? Wait, how many days or uh, designs a week did you do a day to get a comfortable flow? Um, honestly, I used to do 3D design every day. Like, I actually love doing this. So, to me, it's not a big deal. And then when I was trying to grow my Instagram, um, this is my OG IG. I was posting every day. That was part of my content strategy. So now I post every day, but like, I don't know what was going on with the Instagram algorithm, but it's doing me dirty. So I'm like kind of getting discouraged for real. So because I got shadow banned for three months, like mad long ago, um, like last year or whatever, that drove me to YouTube because I was like, I got to diversify my damn I gotta diversify my damn stuff you know what i mean and i'm so happy i started youtube because i think i like it better like instagram is a shell of a freaking social media and i literally hate it but anyways back to this but yeah so i basically do three designs every day it's not like i take forever on them though like sometimes literally i'll just work on something for 30 minutes and that'll be it but I try to like learn something new. Like when I first started, I try to learn something new. You know what I mean? Every time I did a tutorial, like I'll learn how to make a glass material in one one day and then I'll learn how to make something else the other day. So that always helps you learn and grow. You an internet girl, the ghost. She almost made my own last MacBook burst into flames one time though. <laughs> Yo yes that was my old laptop too and I, then i got this gaming laptop it was really the best but i'm gonna convert this to a mesh and i'm gonna remesh it so i can take it over to sculpt mode i don't use voxel i just use smooth yeah internet girl she's that girl like i'm trying to be like her one day you know what i mean me too since 2017 still do this shit <laughs> You're still in college in 2017. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've had it for a while. So you go in deep. Oh, I want to outline for this. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to go to the object data properties panel. And I'm going to remove the fill. And I'm going to add depth. That's how you get an outline, guys. Fun facts outline I kind of want it to be thicker oh too thick too thick are you guys into like I'm really into pop culture are you guys into pop culture let me add a met a plane so you guys can see it better because they're gray gray I actually made my blender UI pink one day and I forgot how to do it like I downloaded this like template that you could just upload and make your whole blender pink. And I felt so like girly and 
amazing you know what i mean i'm gonna add a fill to this too all right and i'm gonna convert every other object to a mesh and i'm gonna remesh it so that i can take it over to sculpt mode if y'all watch my tutorials y'all should know the deal with this i feel like a damn robot converting things to meshes and then remeshing them so who are you guys putting your money on for this 2024 election like do you guys think that biden is going to drop dead tomorrow or do you think that Trump is going to end up in jail? Do you think that any of these third party candidates are going to pull through? Like what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to change the blender colors. Like I, I just saw one video on it. I did it that one day. And then it was kind of like distracting me, like it all being pink. So I just changed it back and never went back. Why don't you create a server or on Discord? We will share designs and ideas with each other and discuss a lot there. I think it's a beautiful idea. Um, I've never actually used Discord and I've never bid on there. How does that all work? Like, is it like Twitter? But I feel like that that would be fire. Like, I like connecting like I love when people leave comments and stuff because I love like connecting with people who watch my stuff because honestly I just be posting videos and then I just be forgetting like I know people are watching it but it's like people aren't real till you actually meet them <laughs> that's how I feel at least uh I'm gonna go go to sculpt mode I forgot to remesh this but I'll do it later My money is on we effed either way. Yes. You're right. We are. Um, I was about to say girl, yes. But I don't know if you're a girl. Like, what are your pronouns? I'm totally with you on we're after either way. Do you guys think like World War Three is gonna start anytime soon or you know, I'm just waiting for Putin to drop dead. Apparently he has cancer. Um and I don't understand how it's like people with cancer that are literally despicable human beings live the longest. Like when the hell is he gonna die you know what i mean i hope not you hope not what andrew but putin has cancer i'm pretty sure i saw that somewhere oh yeah and he got parkinson's oh he done oh he done he done look at this man i swear he'd be wearing makeup he done and he going bald. He tried to do that comb over to hide it. Like we see, we see, we see him right through your scalp, sir. World War Three. Oh yeah, I hope. I can't really say that we're not gonna ever be in a war, but I'm hoping that it doesn't happen in this lifetime. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to experience that. Like I'm good. Like. Y'all could go ahead and do that after I die, but f for me, I'm good. Like, I'm not trying to go through that, especially because they're trying to say that they're trying to add women to the draft. Like, I'm all for women empowerment, but and women equality, but when it comes to that, we don't gotta be equal, baby. Like, we don't gotta be equal. Like, I'm not trying to be drafted I, either way. Personally, I'm not going to be drafted because I'm not a citizen. But for the women out there that are qualified, good luck.
He gonna make it out the gulag and be back. Who, Putin? It's so funny how we, we were like all like, oh my God, pray for Ukraine. Pray for Ukraine. And now we don't, we're like, stop sending money to fucking Ukraine. <laughs> like Americans are so damn fickle. Are, wait, where are you guys from? Like, are you from America? Like Americans are so damn fickle, yo. All right, let's go ahead and inflate the Biden text. I think I'm going to go for a classic presidential red and blue. Miss Missouri. I'm from Los Angeles, the most fickle city. <laughs> oh, my God. It must be. You must be in some banging ass tacos over there. So that's all I gotta say. That's all I'm saying about that one. Missouri, what's going on over there in Missouri? But I've never been to California. I really want to go. Um, so hopefully me and my boo can go like next year or something. Them tacos be smacking. I could only imagine you're so close. You're so close to the, to the OG source. Like they gotta be smacking. I'm Dominican. Do I stay in NYC or Miami? Er, uh, wrong, wrong. I don't stay in any of those. How dare you stereotype us? You're a mix of S Somali, Saudi Arabia, and Russia. Oh, you're. Yeah, that is a mix. I was going to say you're Habisha, but you're really not. Because I think that's like Ethiopian and Eritrea. Can you explain to us um, the psychology behind Somalis saying that they're not black? But I'm actually, well, I'm going to let y'all guess where I'm from. What is my accent? My accent, what is my accent giving? But you know this funny ass picture of this guy who was running for president? Um, What's this guy's name? What's this guy's name? Damn, what's his name? Oh, this fun. This picture is so funny. Tim Scott, yo, this picture of his gums. Oh my God! Can we get a close up, Google? Like, can we get closer? We can't. We can't get closer. But this guy is just. Let's copy and paste this image. We can't. Oh my God. I hate when you can't do that. He goofy looking. <laughs> he definitely is goofy looking. And guess what? Besides being goofy. This is the thing I made yesterday in the live. I never even finished it. He definitely is goofy looking. And what's worse is his fucking politics is even worse. Like, look at this. Do you have room to even talk shit about people and say that people need to go get a job and stop going for government assistance when you yourself, you need government assistance to get a gum receding surgery to fix whatever's going on here? Like, I hate when politicians be trying to tell you what to do with your life, but really they need to go look in a mirror and worry about themselves. Like this guy's politics are so bad and he's like a Trump Trumpy Trumpy like 
like a mega hard Trumpy. Like he's all up on like Trump and um him might as well be conjoined t- twins at the hip. Like I think he's really trying to be uh he really trying to be his VP, but that's never going to happen, boo. Like, I don't know who needs to break it to you, but Trump doesn't like black people. So it's it's never going to happen. You're good at geography, even though you are from America. LOL, stiff, stiff. I'm actually bad at geometry because I'm an American. <laughs> Use his gums in the next girl tutorial. Oh, my God. That would be hilarious. And guys, don't be horrible like me and not save your blender file till halfway till you're halfway done with the whole thing because then you're going to be mad when your shit crashes and it's not saved. He gives me third wheeled vibes. Third wheel vibes. Yeah. Apparently he's like engaged. Everybody, there was a rumor on Fox News that he was gay. And he all of a sudden with the swiftness he pulled up with this girl he's like this is my girlfriend and all of a sudden he's now engaged to her with the swiftness even though a few months before we didn't even know he had a girlfriend like anyways we are not black because we are a mixture of africans and arabs we are another race oh so what is that race considered somali I mean, what is it called? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna. Oh, I gotta do the convert to mesh thing with this one. So I forgot to do it. And with this little twinkle, too. Do Dominicans consider themselves black because Dominican because Ecuadorians don't? That's a great question. Um, I'm black. I don't know about the rest of these Dominicans that be in denial about their ancestry and where they're from. Like, I get it if you're like a white one because the DR is like a mixed uh, country. So you could be white, you could be black or you could be mixed or whatever or indigenous. But personally, I'm not with um, I'm not with those Dominicans that be black as hell. And then they be like, I know black. I know black. I Dominican like honey race and ethnicity are two different things. OK, I hate that you guys can't hear the audio from when I played on YouTube. But race, this guy is some y'all seen this, this I know black, I know black thing by this guy. But race and ethnicity is two different things. Like y'all could be black and y'all could be Dominican, just like how y'all could be white and y'all could be Dominican. Like it's just one of those. Personally, I'm I can't deny my blackness, so there's really no reason for me to be saying that I'm not black. <clears throat> But Ecuadorians, they look um, super indigenous. So do they consider themselves that? Or am I thinking about the right group? Let's look up Ecuadorians. <laughs> Which I look like. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do look indigenous. What's this? Oh, my God, what is this? This looks good though. Although I don't really like tomato, so I heard that your country is currently filled with gangs in a frightening way. I hope your family as well. You're talking about Ecuador? Mm. All right, I'm going to add a material. I gotta get my charger though. Give me a second. Brief intermesh. Um, oh. Know what I need? I need some 
camera to connect this. Uh, Ecuadorians are all mixed up. What is this? Yeah, that that one specific thing looked mad weird. Exotic Ecuadorian cuisine. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's guinea pig. I thought only Peruvians ate guinea pig. Anyways, I'm about to add a HDRI. I get all my HDRIs from polyhaven.com. Like I say in all of my damn videos. This is my favorite one. Although the quality for this one is not the best. I gotta put my phone on the charger. <clears throat> oh shit. Not my life. You know what? I'm just gonna turn on my light. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger. All right, I'm back to this Biden Harris 2025 ship. But yeah, I just um, I hate when Dominicans really just. I hate a lot about Dominicans, and I feel like because I'm Dominican, I can talk shit. I feel like everybody, that's how everybody is with their own country, but. The lighting here is horrible. Let's, um. Let's do, let's grab the light that is somewhere over here and put it over here. There we go. I always start with a metallic because I'm psycho. I have issues. I have psychological chrome type problems that involve me making everything chrome um the first step is to admit that you have a problem and i'm already there so hopefully i can heal pretty soon y'all see how this is bad grainy just shade smooth that shit and boom yo when i found that out when i found this out that you could just do that i was amazed like I feel bad for the clients that I had before I learned how to do that because Yasha is grainy as hell, but I was happy with it though. So shout out to y'all. It's almost five in the morning here and I can't sleep. I want to watch until then. Where are you at? Are you in Europe? Or did you say that already and I didn't pay attention? Damn, do you have work in the morning? Like you just living like you got no responsibilities. But you know what's good for when I can't fall asleep is like uh, melatonin. That always works for me. And I used to work overnight. Um, so I literally, it was like an essential for me, for real, for real. Oh, okay, you're in Russia. Okay, I thought you were just telling me that you were, um, like, ethnically Russian and the other Saudi Arabian and Somali, but you're in Russia. Oh my God, so how are things over there? Like, is everything good? Like, what's going on with the war? Keep us updated. I 
All right, I'm gonna make this red or blue. Blue, red. But it's Ramadan, so I'm um, sleeping pattern is different. I don't sleep much. Oh. Mm. I usually do like a black outline. Can I call you Rose? That's looking groovy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I pictured it uh, fist bumping, but that's how I pictured it. I think I'm gonna make this one silver. And make sure you save your file periodically so that you don't hate yourself. Um, but I don't know if I need these twinkles for real. Do you think I need the twinkles? Uh, let's just do it real quick and add it and see how it looks. <clears throat> Okay, I'm trying to think of other funny looking politicians so that I can make fun of them on Google, but I just don't, I don't know. The only thing, the only one I could think of is Tim Scott's gummy ass. Uh, what if I just look up funny looking politicians? Let's see what's going to come up. Oh, you know what? Mitch McConnell, he is funny looking. Look at this. Look at his neck, like even when he was young. But his neck now though, if my neck was hanging this low, I'd get a facelift. I'm like always like I'd never get plastic surgery, but if I was looking like this, I'm getting plastic surgery. Anyways, he's horrible too. Like, he single handedly ran the Republican Party for like decades. Twinkle. You know, let's make this background black. That's good, right? And let's make this black outline darker. Or should we make it like a light blue? Nope. The black looks way better. Okay, should we make this back thing a different color? What? There's something wrong with the battery on my phone. Like, it <clears throat> never charges. Um, there's this really cool add-on that I have. It's called Blender Kit. Um, it's uh, right here, and it imports like objects and materials straight to Blender. So let's just go ahead and try some. You see how you see how easy that was? We could do a glitter. Although I do have a glitter glitter material tutorial on my page if you haven't seen that already. Um but sometimes you do have to adjust it. 
You know what I mean? Just make it smaller. And now it looks like glitter. But this is not giving me... This ain't giving me presidential. So let's get out of here. Wrinkled cloth. That one doesn't look good. Real aesthetic glass. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's go to cycles. I always do cycles. I'm never an Eevee. I'm a cycles. I don't know if I can say the word here, but it rhymes with poor. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. You know what we need to do? We need to go to Sketchfab. This is where I get most of my digital assets. My God. Sketch fab. And we can look up like, let's see if Biden Ted will pop up. Why is this lagging all of a sudden? Ooh, this is a nice Biden head only for $39. That's expensive. Who's buying this? Look at it. His hair even looks better than it does in real life. Anyways, I'm sure there's a free version somewhere. <laughs> Look at this one. The Biden bot. Now, this is something that I could see somebody buying. <laughs> Oh my God. Ooh, this one's free, but I don't really like how it looks. It looks really bad. Um, but we might have to settle for that one. How about this Biden walking? Should we do that one? Or should we just do the head? Oh my God, look at Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do Bernie Sanders. I'm gonna do Bernie. But this one is really bad. It looks flat. You know what? I'm just gonna download it and see how it goes. Oh my God, I hate when it does this. All right, let's download Bernie Sanders and see where it goes from there I hate when it's in a zip folder because then you have to take it out the zip and put it somewhere else so you can find it where is my models where's my models folder oh anyways uh, let's see if we can find something else that could po we could possibly use. Oh, look at Obama. Um, so yeah, I feel like Sketchfab. I mean, I use CG Trader too, but I feel like CG Trader has less uh, models. So, all right, let's just download the Biden head just in case we want to use it. Um, I have to go to like inventory of the models that I don't need anymore on my damn. Uh, let's do GLB. It doesn't have to be full quality. All right. And you just import the models the same way you import any other thing. Just make sure you're looking for the correct file size. I mean, file type. Um, and then let's import Bernie Sanders. I for freaking forgot what file that what, what file type that was. Honestly, see, this is what I'm talking about. <sighs> My phone just died. This is what I'm talking about.
Um, let's turn that around. Let me go look at what file type that Bernie Sanders thing was. I think it was objects. Let's see. Uh, no, it was not an object. Jesus. Brief intermission of me trying to find this damn Bernie Sanders model. Jeez. All right, let's see what it was. Uh, it's probably a GL me. Yeah, there we go. Where is it? It's nowhere to be found. See, sometimes the models just don't, they just don't work. They don't end up working. Okay, it was super tiny. No. I don't know where it's at. I can't find it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Joe Biden head. Somehow. I'm not really feeling this model though. Most of the time I like hyper realistic things. I'm gonna adjust my camera. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my camera. But I really don't like this glass thing that I put on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and Ooh, what if I do a glowy one this is how you do an emission shader if you want things to glow on blender this is what you do okay you go to the material properties right here and you change the surface from principal BD BSDF to an emission shader and then you just freaking put the strength up to a million. And you could change the color if you want. I'm not really completely convinced that this is what I want to do with this. This is like distracting from the actual words. So this might just be a uh, that and then this might be the emission shader. The only thing is it's like takes away from the color. If anybody knows how to avoid that would be greatly appreciated. No, hell no. This looks horrible. I'm 
Let's just undo all everything that I just did. Okay. Let's do that. You know what? I don't even think I want this Biden head. Should I keep the Biden head, guys? Should I take it away? Should I keep the Biden head? Let me know in the comments. I feel like taking it away because I just want to do like, uh, whatever. <laughs> I just want to do a, a animation, a rotation animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue all of this together, although I actually do have to fix this is not in the middle. And I'm just going to convert it, uh, actually join it, and then set the origin to geometry. And then I'm going to go to the animations tab here on Blender. And I'm just going to do a quick rotation animation. It's going to start a, I'm going to create a keyframe, bring it up, change this to 360, and create a keyframe again. That's how easy it is to create it. Woo! Interpolation, linear, now it's all the same speed throughout. But I want it to be slightly slower, so take it to 120. Yeah. Now let's see what the color though. Let's change this to 120 so it like just stops when I want it to stop. Yay! We did it, Joe. We did it. You're going to be the next president of the United States. Does anybody remember that? That was like Kamala Harris's most iconic moment. I'm not going to lie. That's what I should have done today. I should have done a We Did It Joe t shirt. But I, I, technically, I already did that on my Instagram page. It's super old though. Like I'm not about to just it's super deep in my Instagram, so I'm not doing it, but We did it, Joe. We did it. This looks nice, right? Whatever, I like it. How long have I been on here? Anyways, I really appreciate you guys coming into the live and hearing me ramble about something that I love, which is politics. I'm really into it. It's like really fun to me. Um, let me know what other topics you want to dis you want me to discuss on live. Make sure you check out the other tutorials that I have on my page. And um, yeah to the one or two people that are still in there in here this whole time you're a real one and i really appreciate you and i will see you on the next live if you're there bye